I'm gonna try to find your card using static electricity. Your card slowly starts to rise from the pack just like that. What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day as always. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make someone's signed card jump out of the card box. So before this video starts, I just wanted to show you the room that I'm going to be filming my videos. So this is the room. I have a bookshelf right here. I got a painting. These really cool LED lights right there. So guys, I'm going to film all my YouTube videos over here. And over here, I got this tripod. So I use this to film my TikTok videos, if you guys are curious. I also have this really cool ring light for my TikTok videos. It improves the quality of my videos. I'm going to link all of this stuff in the description below. And what's really cool about these LED lights is that it comes with a remote and I could just change the color. So it gives a really cool vibe in the room. We got white, we got blue, green, red. It's really sick. I dedicated this whole room to filming TikTok and YouTube videos. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And guys, I'm going to try to post as many YouTube videos as I can. I'm planning on doing some prank videos, some more magic tutorials. So with all that being said, let's get into today's video. I have a regular deck of playing cards, all the cards are different as you can see and because I don't have a spectator, I'm just going to choose a random card. So let's say you would pick this card, remember that card? Your card is going to go at the top of the deck and I'm going to mix up the cards. So your card is getting lost in the middle of the pack. So the cards are going to go inside the card box like this and I'm going to try to find your card using static electricity. So watch this. Your card slowly starts to rise from the pack just like that. And that's the trick. Okay guys, so I'm not really a wizard. I know it might be hard to believe, but really all you're going to need for this trick is a regular deck of playing cards and a card box. And the only setup for this trick is that you want to cut a hole in back of the card box like this. So if you're having trouble with this, I recommend asking a parent to help you out and I also recommend going to your local Dollar Tree or Dollar Store and buying a cheaper deck of playing cards just to use for this trick. So the first thing you're going to need to know before performing this trick is how to do a false shuffle. So magicians use this all the time, it's basically pretending to shuffle up the cards. For example, the top card is the Ace of Spades. Right now I'm using a false shuffle but to the average person it looks like I'm mixing up all the cards but the ace of spades is still at the top. So a false shuffle does not change the order of the top card. After the spectator chooses a random card, let's say they choose this card, the four of clubs, you're gonna take their card and put it at the top of the pack like this. And then you're gonna wanna use a false shuffle. So the false shuffle I'm teaching you, you're gonna wanna grip the cards with your thumb, your middle finger and your ring finger like this. And your opposite hand is gonna go at the bottom of the cards. Next, you wanna move your hand up and down while your opposite hand is just peeling off the cards with your thumb. So it should look like this. So you wanna practice doing this motion over and over again. And once you have a small pack of cards left over, you're gonna take this and put it in back of the cards. And as you can see, the four of clubs is still at the top. But to the average person, they're thinking that the cards are just being mixed up, but the four of clubs is still at the top. When you do this really fast, it should look like this. And that's how you do it. I just showed you a basic false shuffle that you could use, but for this trick, you could use any false shuffle you want, as long as it doesn't change the order of the top card. If you guys are still having a hard time with this move, just Google false shuffle on YouTube and you're gonna find a more descriptive video that teaches you how to do it. This is the funnest part of the trick. Now that the card is in the back of the deck, all you're doing is just pulling the card up with your index finger like this. So from the front, it should look like this. If you want, you could say that you're gonna find their card using static electricity, but it's not really true. It just makes the trick look more realistic. You could say that you're gonna rub your hand on the, your shirt like this and find their card. And as you're doing this motion, you're just pulling up with your index finger. I recommend tilting the cards up a bit because if you tilt the cards front, then they're gonna see that it's coming from the back of the pack. And there you have it guys, that's the trick. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Keep practicing the trick, your friends and family are gonna think you're a wizard. Every time I perform this trick, I always get crazy reactions. If you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps with the channel. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'm gonna link some of my favorite magic tricks in the description below, and I'll see you 
in the next video. Peace.